Good morning, Dr. Eric Klajinski here with Fanwood Back Relief Center. Uh, today's Tuesday, we are in the office. Uh, we'll be back in the office after today on Thursday, so if you can't uh, get in today, we are closed tomorrow, but we'll be here again on Thursday. Uh, I want to talk today about uh, numbness in the arms and hands. I've been getting a lot of questions, uh, patients telling me that you know when they fall asleep at night, they wake up and they have to shake out their arm or hand. There's a few reasons why this would happen, and it has to do with basically blood flow and nerve pressure. So the nerves and blood vessels that run from the neck and shoulder area supply the hand um, and fingers with innervation, oxygenated blood. What happens is, is if something is either out of alignment in the neck, shoulder, elbow, or wrist, it can cause irritation or pressure um, on, on those vessels or on those nerves and restrict the actual flow of oxygenated blood or nerve activity. And what happens is um, the, the hand will lose that supply and go numb. And it has to do with most commonly position of your head and your neck when you're sleeping. So a lot of times when you're sleeping on your side, you wanna make sure that the gap between your head and your shoulder um, is neutral. In other words, your head lines up with your chest because what happens is if your head, the pillow is too small, it's gonna crank your neck over like that and compress the neck and shoulder region. And if it's too big, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna stretch and pull and tether uh, and put a lot of torsion on those vessels and nerves as well. So you want everything nice and balanced and neutral. So you wanna make sure that your pillow is of ideal height where it's giving you that support with the distance between your shoulder and your neck. The pillows that we use in our office and that I use personally uh, is a, a custom pillow. We take measurements, the circumference of your neck, the gap between your shoulder uh, and the, the back of your skull here, and then your shoulder width. And then we consider what, what you predominantly sleep. Now, a lot of people will toss and turn. I toss and turn. I usually start out on my back and then end up on my side. Um, but the pillow accommodates those different sleeping activities depending upon the position you're put in. So that's one thing. Um, even if you have a great pillow, if there is something out of alignment in your neck or your shoulder, what can happen is um, those, those areas can be um, easily irritated, easily compressed, and cause those areas to go numb at night and also cause pain as well. Uh, so that's something to consider too. Make sure things are good alignment in your neck and your shoulder. Uh, things are balanced in your thorax uh, because that's what we want. We want symmetry from left to right. More balance, less, um, less problems, less um, uh, opportunity for problems to arise. Um, also, you know, if you're spending a lot of time, you know, with overuse, like typing on the computer all day at work, and then you go home and you're typing on the computer or you're on your phone, those areas in the carpal tunnel themselves can be stressed and overused, and they'll get inflamed, um, and then it only takes the slightest position or pressure on them at night to cause the same sy uh, symptoms to arrive. Uh, so hopefully this answers some of those questions you have. If you are experiencing any type of neck, shoulder pain, if you do have numbness in your hands and your fingers, do not ignore it. Um, it could be something as simple as um, getting something into a right position, or if there is um, some serious nerve irritation, it involves more of a rehab process. Either way, uh, we can steer you in the right direction and get you the help you need. Uh, for any questions, just shoot me a message, give us a call. We're always here and happy to help, help and answer your questions. Uh, we answer our phones um, outside our normal business hours, so uh, if we can't get to you, just leave a message and we will return your phone call back shortly. Hopefully we're gonna have, everyone has a great day. I'm loving the fall where it's starting to get chilly in the morning. It feels good. It wakes you up. I like that brisk air, and uh, I hope you enjoy your day, and we will talk to you next time.